This is the story of, of me having Asperger's syndrome. It all started when I was three or seven years old. My mum noticed something different about me. She couldn't figure out what it was. She noticed that I would start no making eye contact when my mum was speaking to me and I would flap my arms and shout more than usual. So my mum decided to go to Ninewells Hospital and she explained what was going on with me and what I was doing. So the doctor decided to give me some tests and activities to do and he came to the result where he said that I have Asperger's syndrome and my mum at the time had no idea what it was. So the doctor explained that it's a mental condition that affects verbal, social and communication skills that most people would have no problem. So a few years have passed and I went to Finchley Primary School and I had good days and bad days like for example I got bullied at school uh, where it made me feel lonely at times and just not understood in terms of like my mental condition. But despite all that I stood tall and I faced adversity if you will. So after a few years after that I went to Morgan Academy and I really liked, I really liked there. Some of the staff explained to me that I have Asperger's syndrome and it made it easier for me to understand. Some of the things I did as a child I don't do a lot now because the staff have helped me a lot. For example, like think it don't say it which means that if I haven't got anything nice to say or whatever then don't say it at all. After a few years after that I went to college and then I accepted and, and learned my autism through new friends that I've made in college, uh, remembered all the things that I've done from high school, for example, think I don't say it, and it paid off amazingly. Sometimes I still get anxious and worried about new things that happens in my life, but I can overcome those, those struggles by remembering what I've learned in high school. Everyone has different levels or stages of autism, but I can overcome those struggles despite it. If anyone can do it, then I can do it too, and anyone can do it no matter what their disability is. My advice for people that don't have Asperger's is don't judge a book by its cover. What that means is try and show respect and recognise that autism is a real condition and it affects people in different ways. And my advice to people who do have Asperger's syndrome, it may be difficult for some people, but if you learn and understand your condition, through school, through college or elsewhere, you can overcome anything in your lives if you're willing to try.